cute guys and cute puppies? Can we just... guys welcome to today's video it's actually almost the end of the day for us it is 5 30 on sunday we just finished with the arnold expo it was a very long weekend but we still have a little bit of work to do before the weekend ends one of those things includes doing a podcast while i'm here so when i'm traveling i try to make the most out of it and there's a ton of people here that i would like to collab with but one of them i'm doing like a double collab with today and he's here his name is hey. jeff Nice to meet you guys. And Steph. This is his girlfriend, Steph. She's wonderful. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to actually podcast with Jeff, and I don't know if a lot of you guys know about his channel. I've referenced it in a few of my videos, but he is so informative. He has these really amazing videos that um, explain the science behind training and nutrition tips, and he references research articles and stuff like that. That's just super, super helpful, and uh, his channel is blowing up, so if you guys are not subscribed to it, you're behind the ball. <laughs> But regardless, uh, we're going to podcast with him today, and we're talking about a lot of really good stuff. So if you guys are enjoying the podcast, I know a lot of you guys are, make sure you guys check that out. And I will be putting up a schedule on my podcast, like what people are coming out on which weeks and stuff like that very soon. So make sure you guys check that out. But uh, I got to get to this before the weekend ends. Welcome back to another episode of Bucci Radio. Today we have a very, very special guest and his name is Jeff Nipper. Jeff also has a bachelor degree in science and biochemistry. He's also been to dental school for two years after that. What his videos um, are really known for nowadays are really his informative science-based videos. I initially started weight training, mostly just to improve my vertical jump for basketball. So how passionate I am about bodybuilding and fitness and everything now, that's exactly how I was about basketball then. Better right now than she normally is. Yeah. But, um, she is the cutest. So little. Oh my gosh. Hey. I love her little green thing. It's so funny. She's so freaking cute. How old is she? I have no idea. This is not mine. I wish I could call it mine. It's hers, I think. So, you. Right just slip the puppy in. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. My puppy fever is very strong right now. Oh, yeah? It's so white. We're here at Diamond Fitness. This is Aaron's gym. That's Aaron. <laughs> Jeff, Steph, and Brian, and I are all training legs together. I guess you can call it a couple's workout. We can do that. Why not? All right, so we're just going to get some warm-ups going. Man leggings. Like if you like man leggings. <laughs> and puppies. How are you going to work out? I'm just going to... Cute puppies? Can we just take a second? Oh my god. Can we just take a second? Look at this one. Teach me how. Exercise 
What, uh, what, which ones? Uh. <laughs> yes, sir. Exercise. Yes, yes. we work out. <laughs> Just like an RDL or yeah. something like that. So we have hamstrings. Then we can do like walking lunges or some kind of like glute finisher, like a hyper, reverse hyper. Yeah. That's my, that's my book. When I wake up, wake up, wake up, but do you lunges now and I absolutely don't like walking lunges at all they're just really hard but Jeff is gonna give us a few quick tips to get more glute activation during walking lunges I think I don't have an issue activating my glutes during them but they are just really difficult sometimes a lot of people feel quad activation more so so Jeff take it away okay so um, there are basically like three things that you can do to make your glutes more active in the walking lunge uh, according to the research um, the first is doing the forward variation instead of say like the lateral variation there's no research on the reverse as far as I know, but some people swear by it. They think they can feel it a lot more in the reverse. So I'd recommend just like experimenting with both of those forward and reverse. I personally find the reverse really awkward and there is a very high level of EMG activity in the forward. What's EMG? <clears throat> EMG, electromyography. So it's basically like a measure of the activation of the muscle from nerve impulses. Um, so it's I a sign of how active the muscle is when you do a certain exercise. Um, the other thing that you can do is take longer strides. So a lot of people who feel it more in their quads are probably taking really short strides. So if you lengthen it out, you'll get more stretch on the glute muscle, which will probably activate it more. The other thing that I personally find helpful as a cue is to drive through your front heel rather than pushing off here. Because mm -hmm. if you think about this motion, if you're pushing off with your back leg, one, it's the forward momentum of the lunge that's carrying you forward, and two, it's your quad doing a lot of the pushing here. So you wanna drive this heel into the ground and push up with your glutes. Um, yeah, so those are my quick three tips. That's very helpful, Jeff, thank you. We killed it! it. Do you want to get <laughs> He's like, <laughs> what do you do when the camera's on you? Awkwardly smile. Jeff goes back to Canada land tomorrow. Mixed feelings. And Actually. Steph goes back to Florida land tomorrow. <gasps> I'm going to visit Steph in a few weeks. That would be sweet. <laughs> that would be so sweet. I'm so excited. Yes. It, it will be. It will be. Not not it would be. It will be. Yes, it will be. Sorry, Jeff. Jealous. <laughs> uh, Both got the long distance feels. Yeah. Sadness, you go back tomorrow too. What's up guys, we are at the airport, officially leaving. Stuff for the plane. My cookie, Diet Mountain Dew. Water that I had to chug after going through security and then go back through security, because I didn't finish it. And a book. And a friend. And this is the other friend that I found earlier. This is Evan. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm finally back home from Ohio and there is good news. I got my laptop back yesterday and it is in perfect working condition. So very, very happy about that. So I can get back to work. I'm back in Los Angeles for a little while. So very excited to get back to routine and stuff like that because I'm a routine person and it just gives me life and I'm very happy and excited. It's gorgeous out in Los Angeles right now. So just Life's good, life's good. Um, but I did want to say thank you to every single person who came out to 
the Arnold to say hi to me and to say hi to the team, team PE Science and Team Bite Meals and everybody who just came out to support not only us but just share your story with me. It just really honestly truly always constantly reminds me every single time I meet people in person and see that have that face to face interaction. It just reminds me why I keep making videos. People constantly ask me what keeps me motivated and it's honestly just it's meeting people face to face and also hearing emails and messages and stuff like that those are wonderful and I love reading them and they really make a huge difference but just like I, it just re sparks my fire it ignites my fire yet again every single time every time I meet people in person so I just wanted to say thank you to you guys and I also wanted to thank you guys in another way I recently hit um, 150,000 subscribers here on YouTube and 400,000 subscribers on Instagram and I'm super excited about that. It's just really cool that I've been able to share my message with so many people and reach so many people in multiple different ways. I love my audience and I love everybody who's able to interact with me here. So I want to be able to give back and with that said, I'm going to be giving away a $400 gift card, $400 for 400 thousand subscribers four hundred dollar gift card to bodybuilding.com you guys can get anything you want on there you can get supplements you can get clothing you can get a lifting belt you can get shoes you can get anything that you want on there there's plenty of stuff that will help you with your fitness journey so with that being said all you have to do is click the link below there's there is a specific giveaway link in the description box below so make sure you guys don't forget to click on that in order to enter the giveaway. The giveaway is going to run for, I believe, five days. So since you're seeing this video Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'll pick a winner. And the winner will be announced via email. So you guys will be getting an email saying you either won or you didn't win. So uh, make sure you guys enter. And I'm really excited about that. I just wanted to say that. And thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video.